Hi everybody and welcome to this episode of Touchpoints TV. My name is Amanda Batista. I'm the Associate Editor of Retail Touchpoints. Today I'm here with Jennifer Hartle, who's a Senior Account Manager at DirectSource. Jennifer, thanks for joining us today. Sure. We're you. here uh, at the Javits Center, NRF 2012. So um, Jennifer, we're going to talk uh, about some of the, uh, the exciting things we're seeing today on the show floor. So have you seen anything in particular that's really um, been interesting to you? Yes. Um, actually, this year the biggest trend I think I've seen thus far is the mobile point of sale and sure. all the retailers that want to get the okay the hardware that it will run on and the software that it will run on so that's been a big a big push i think this year well to that end i mean the pro proliferation of mobile devices is, is really changing the way that consumers approach shopping and ultimately mm -hmm. their expectations so can you tell us a little bit about that sure so one of the biggest things um, we help our customers at direct source with is making sure that if they're bringing in mobile point of sale that the devices and the retailer's tech um, infrastructure actually supports the devices right. so they work properly when they're in the store. Um, so that's another big attribute that we're working with our retailers to help facilitate and make sure that they know once they choose a device that they can't forget about the infrastructure that surrounds it to help support it. Okay. So, so we talked about mobile point of sale, how that's a really big hot topic, and you know, QR codes, um, applications, all of these things are really changing the way that retailers go to market when it comes to mobile. Um, so are there any tips or best practices that you would advise retailers to implement with regards to mobile? Yeah, I think one of the bigger trends that we're seeing, or hearing at least, is the whole um, EMV and NFC and how that relates to mobile point of sale. And just making sure that you're thinking through the next three to five years and what you want that piece of technology to do right? so that you're researching it on the front end and not making your decision and it not having that functionality down the road. Yeah, absolutely. Going back to mobile point of sale, what do you, how do you see that trend developing in the coming year? So mobile point of sale brings a lot of ROI to the, to the end user or the retail um, customer. So I think um, it will enhance their customer's experience if, again, they provide the infrastructure for it to actually work. I think with the whole um, evolution of the iPad and the, and the iPhones, that people are really expecting information quickly. Yeah. And if you can't give that to them, they're going to go find it someplace else. Well, to that and that, that creates a challenge for retailers. What are some of the challenges in any mobile strategy or any mobile initiative? What are some of the factors that retailers really need to consider? Um, stepping back again into supporting their mobile strategy and making sure that their infrastructure is upgraded and can hand the bandwidth, handle the bandwidth um, as these consumers walk into their stores. And then just making sure that there again the functionality, whether it be NFC, near field communications, or EMV if Euro MasterCard Visa actually comes to fruition here in the United States, right. um, that those type of solutions will have a bigger ROI and a bigger impact for that retailer. Excellent. Well, Direct Source has worked with a number of big box retailers. Um, and, and can you explain to us how, how, you know, what kind of work you're doing with retailers and how you're helping them with their mobile initiatives? Mm -hmm. So I think um, one of the key attributes that Direct Source can help assist with is actually solidifying the hardware um, platform that they choose. Uh, we work with a lot of manufacturers in the mobile tablet arena and there again, making sure that you've got the functionality right. up front and researching that, as well as deploying out to all the retail locations. Um, we can load the POS software at our facilities in Minneapolis and then um, stage and integrate and kit by store out to each store. Okay, great. Are there, are there any key mobile trends that you would tell us to look out for in 2012? Um, you know, I think the, the biggest one we've kind of already touched on is just making sure that the retailers have the infrastructure as well as gaining information quickly and adapting to it. Um, so I, th I think you'll see a lot of the iPad, iPhone-like right. looking devices out in a lot of these retail locations. Excellent. Well, Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for watching.